All right, everybody, what's happening? It's your boy Jesse here. Welcome back to another video. Years ago, I made a video of this Unitech SATA IDE to USB 3.0 adapter. Apparently, this device is giving me some issues. Like, it won't even recognize any drives at all. I've been having issues with that for months. I thought it was the USB cable. So I've ordered up another USB cable. Turns out it's not the USB cable. I think the contacts. Contacts, if I just disconnect this real quick. Somewhere up in here are kind of are starting to get fouled because it. I mean, yeah, you could take a screwdriver and try to clean the contacts. I just don't have the time to keep on doing that. But that's okay. Because I have a newer style. Unitex USB 3.0 to SATA. I'm sorry, ADA, IDE SATA Convert. So let's unbox it and see what we got. It's pretty much all the same. Just a newer style looking is what I've seen. And there's the uh, Molex cable for it. It's a QR code. You don't need those. All right, so I got it, um, the AC adapter out and the device itself. Well, one thing I like about this kit thing is you don't have to replace the, uh, you don't actually got to replace the, uh, cable for it. Uh, this one, unlike this other one, it has a USB-A to micro USB-B. And this one, I actually, I actually like this one better than this one. So now I don't have to worry about, you know, replacing the cable from right here. Uh, I don't think there's any, uh, interesting enough, doesn't really have a CD, uh, like a DVD insulation device, whatever, the driver insulation, whatever you call it, doesn't have that kind. That's fine, you don't need those. Alright, well we're going to hook, get this all hooked up. And we'll try it out. So let me get this all set up and I will come back in just a little bit. Oh, and uh, by the way, I know I got a comment on my other Unitech video that about the small X cable. You don't really need this unless you're hooking up an older hard drive from like the good old days of Windows XP or whatever. So, yeah, that's the only way you would need the small X cables if you're hooking up some old school uh hard drives from like the er like the early maybe mid 2000s is what i'm saying anyways let's get back to the video up uh, get back to the topic i'm sorry well actually i was on topic you get what i mean let's get back to setting this up uh unfortunately this cable is not as long as i expect it Uh, I don't mind the clock in the background. Sorry about that. Um, all right, let's get this all set up. I'll just unplug the headphones and get this out the way because I don't need that kind right now. All right, let's hook this up. Hook it up right here. Oh, wrong way. I apologize. My apologies. There we go. That's on. Now I got to wake my laptop back up once again because it was in sleep. Let me enter my pen real quick. All right, and we'll turn it on, see what happens. By the way, the HDD right here is a Se Seagate Barracuda Pro, one terabyte. That light's barely lit, but it works. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I think that light is unfortunately out of it. That's fine. It's no big deal. Yeah, so that light bulb's out of it. That's pretty common. But yeah, um, but yeah, there you go, everyone. It's detected the drive, so that's good. I really do like this newer style. It's just unfortunate. Got the light on, it's messed up. 
Again, that's pretty common, when, especially when you order it off of Amazon. Which, by the way, I will put an Amazon link in the description if you want to order yourself one of these. Yeah. But it works. So I'm happy to say that. Alright, well, thanks so much for watching this really quick video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you hit like, subscribe. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you think. Turn on the bell and set it to all. And we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.